Let's move back up to the drums. Uh, someone said, what do you guys write first? I think the drums came first because um, I was chopping up the sample in Ableton. A lot of these drums are based around a sample. Um, I think it's a, it's a Jeremy Sylvester garage loop of some kind. Yeah, here it is on its own. So the, the biggest change is it's four, it's four to the floor. You know, I've EQ'd out the bass drum. Boom, 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 boom. So I, I took a 4-4 four, four beat and then turned it back into two-step um, by adding my own kicks and other stuff, which you'll see in a minute. So that is being sent into Logic um, to here, Ableton Rewire 1. And it's going through a lot of EQ. Um, there was a lot of resonances that I didn't like um, in, the, in the top end, as you can see. Um, here it is without the EQ. And here it is with. So you can see these ones are dealing with the hi-hat and then these ones are dealing with the snare. It's all dynamic EQ. So when the snare hits, these go bang and pull it down. And when the hi-hat's in, these cut the hi-hat off as well. You can literally see them move one after the other, depending on which is in. Um, so that's the EQ. And then there's just reverb on it, which, is, which gets automated during the build-ups. Nice and simple. Um, so yeah, like I said, we've moved from a 4-4 loop and I, and I kind of turned it into a two-step loop. So here's the kick. So you got like one big long one on the one and then some little in-between Philly ones because it was getting in the way of the bass. So that's the kicks. And then I've got some like Jay Dilla snares, which I've chopped up to do some like really offbeat garagey hits. So it's just backing up um, the sample. It'll all make sense when I put it in with the sample. Um, and then there's a hi-hat. The one in the sample was quite like, and I wanted like, to just layer it up with. So put that over the top. It's very hard to make that authentic 90s garage crunchy sound um, from scratch. You, I mean, you can do it. I have done it. But when you've got a day with someone and you want to get something going quick, you know, throwing a Jeremy Sylvester loop at it is uh, a good place to start. And um, I think I just loved it so much. I didn't want to leave it. So it ended up making the final cut. There's some more battery stuff happening here. So loads of offbeat hi-hats uh, is what's com coming in here. So this is all 808 sounds. Got a shaker, maraca, 808 closed, 808 long. And I've, you know, the length of the MIDI is, de is defining the length of the notes. If I hold down a note, it's super long. And if I, so I like doing that with a note because you can get like really rhythmic with it, you know? Um, so yeah, that's what this sounds like. But yeah, all of this is played in manually by me um, and just layering up that loop. So here it is with the loop. Bam. And yeah, some plugins on the output track. I'll just bypass all of these and I'm going to bypass on the output track as well. I've got a lot uh, going on. But that's what it's like with no plugins. And then I'll put them in. So just compressing the kick a little bit and gluing it all together. Didn't want to crush it too much because that sample's already so crushed and compressed. Like it just didn't need it much. Bit of tape. Just hitting the red so that kick just, you know, squelching the hi-hats nicely. Not much inflator. Um, just didn't need it, I guess. Bit more, bit more saturation. And then, yeah, I'm still pulling out some more of these high mids. They're still quite aggressive. Yeah, you know, all that stuff is just painful. And then it's uh, just being limited. 
It's barely hitting the limiter, to be honest. I wanted to leave the drums really open and super expressive, lots of dynamics. There's not really much kick and snare hitting at the same time, and that's usually what causes your big, like, transient peaks. So because it's a two-step groove, everything kind of stays in its place where it needs to be, so... Oh yeah, plugins on the output. You've seen all these before. But yeah, nothing nothing different here. I kind of stuck to that chain for the whole album because I wanted it, you know, all the songs to sound consistent and glued together. Um maybe next record I'll come up with something new and try some new stuff, but that's basically the energy plugins. SSL G Bus, Studer, Tape, Drama S7, Saturn, the Oxford Inflator, Soothe, some EQ, and then I would have bypassed the limiter before I sent it off for mastering. Who knew um is track four? Track four off of my latest album, Energy. Um, I wrote this with Howard, my brother, and with Mick Jenkins. 